Hello, Gamers Paradise here, doing a new gaming video. And as you can see, it's loading up. For Final Fantasy Brave Exodus. Gonna be doing a playthrough of this, because it actually has a story mode, so I was seeing if anyone would be interested in it. And again, I apologize in advance about how it's being recorded. I don't have a screen capture thing for this. I tried, my tablet sucks, my laptop's broken, I'm just gonna record it like this. I apologize for the glare and the fingerprints from me touching. God damn it, can this go away? Oh, made it too low. I think that'll be a good volume. So I didn't make a team yet because I didn't plan on playing this that much. Like on the tablet. So I have to get something onto my tablet now. I'm just trying to get a team set up. I think she's a four. So, a quick explanation of the game. If you've ever played any other games like this, it plays a lot like... Well, I can't say it plays like Dokken Battle, but it does have the summon feature like Dokken Battle, like friend points, and stuff like this. But we'll get into that as we play. So a quick one now, because I already played the tutorial. There is story mode, there is a world map, this is Esper's, this is Colosseum, which is over here, this is Vortex, this is stuff I don't have yet, I have it on my iPhone, I just made this and quickly watched through the tutorial for the video beforehand, so we're going to get straight into the game. Again, this game is actually an RPG with a story, so I will keep it on the text long enough for people to read. And I'll see how much it can fit into each part. And I don't think any of these matter. So and I apologize for the quality. But we're going to do a whole playthrough of the story mode, depending on how long it is. I don't know how this shall fit into each segment. So I'm going to leave it for a bit so people have a chance to read it. Also, there's an auto button on my Dokken, but it's better. Actually, since it's just a beginning dungeon, you can just, I'm just going to hit auto to not waste time on other features. It actually has a good soundtrack, and the game really is fun to play. Like, when you actually are doing strategy with bosses and stuff, it's kind of, it's really fun to play the game. And I actually like it. And I'm really usually picky with RPG games, but I really like it. It feels like a Final Fantasy game. There's a music of a Final Fantasy game. Maybe I should shut up so you can hear the music. Alright, so another feature they have is you swipe here to get an example of their skills. They have limit breaks that go up. You swipe in different directions, so... Like, you hold it, and never mind, I click. I'm usually doing like with my iPhone, my iPhone, I'm really sorry. But so like, you have different animations, later on you get espers that are summons. Right now, like I said, it's really easy, so I'm just gonna hit auto, because they're not gonna really kill you from the beginning. If you have high tier characters like special on your team, so it's not really that hard to do. It is that. It actually is an actual game, so it's really fun to play. And the music's nice. I'm trying not to talk that much so you can actually hear the music. Yo, XP. Thank you, XP. Don't like that. Thank you, Gain the XP and level up like the Final Fantasy game. It's divided among your party, though. So, like, that is that. This is for when you awaken characters, it's like Doken, sort of, and other gacha games, so many games, and you have to have certain materials to awaken characters, I'll get into that in the next video, this is just going to be the first whole dungeon I think we'll fit in this, yeah, I think this will just be the whole first dungeon, depending on how much time the dungeon takes, again, I'm going to just auto battle the whole thing, because it's a waste of time clicking everything when it's a starting dungeon, they really won't kill you, or hurt you that much. When it comes to these, I'll be glad to let you read it.
Also, if you're wondering what happened, it, the prequel, like the the tutorial actually was kind of a bit of the story where they beat I'll go into it actually later on. Like I'll do an entire video explaining the people I mean the tutorial or I'll even play the tutorial like maybe I'll download the app again or something and play the tutorial in another video. Because I realize that the tutorial actually has some story in it. So you do miss a bit by I mean, the tutorial on here, so I really do apologize. What they were referring to from the tutorial was Someone murdered the knights that they were with, like a group of knights. The knights of uh, Grand Shep, I think. Oh, I forgot the name, I think it's Grand Shep. So again, it's like you can just auto battle the first dungeon, but it's not really hard, it's just afterwards then it gets into the group of So I think the next is the last part of the dungeon. Also, if you make an account soon, you get a lot of stuff, tickets and stuff to summon list, so it's like a good time to do it now, so that you could actually have more stuff. I'll do a summoning right now to show what it looks like, actually. Because Lapis is like your gems or crystals that they use in other games. You need 500 to do one summon, so I'll show off the summon right now. Because I have the amount, actually. Send request, uh, yeah, yeah, go, go. So I'm gonna get out of the story for a second. Go back to home, and I'll show off the summon mechanic. If I can click the damn thing. So I'm looking through my phone, so it's hard to see where I'm pointing. So this is a premium summon. You're always guaranteed a three star higher. It uses your lapis, which is your money. Lapis is used for everything in this game when you wanna restore your stamina when it runs out or if when we get to the Colosseum I'll show you that feature when that runs out but mostly you're going to use this for summoning so let's just do a summon right now if I get a different color I'll explain the colors to you blue is 3 star, gold is 4 star, rainbow is 5 star yeah there's that, let the summon happen that's how summoning works Rydia, I already have a Rydia so it's not it's eh Certain characters are really good to get, like, you can technically get every character as a 3 star, but only certain characters can come as 5 stars. Now back to story. Almost at the 10 minute mark actually, so I'm going to have to finish this up. Gladius Woods. Um, uh, look, is there anybody with... Dang it. I'm gonna take someone else in to show off other characters. I'll just take a level 9 man. Just being quiet a little to let you hear the music. Oh, and there's another story part, so this time I'll be quiet for this part so you can read it and hear the music. Then I can leave it auto until the boss comes together. Because the boss is an O2, I think, or a Neo2, one of those two, uh, you actually have to die. And then you're fighting a swarm of little bosses for that one. But until, like, the game is nice, the music's really good, it has a Final Fantasy feeling to it. The music I really enjoy. One of the few games where I don't mute it when I play it, because I really like hearing the soundtrack. I think this is the end of this uh, done, this stage. Yeah, the boss battle signifies the end of the stage. Just 
Make it a little louder so you can hear better. Again, you swipe to the left to use abilities. So this is the limits. I'm gonna just use a bunch of limit breaks because it should kill him. Never mind, I'll use gravity. Any character with gravity in the beginning of the game is really good to have actually because it makes the enemies a little easier to kill. I'll go more into the combat in the next video when I not finish the dungeon. I'll come back to the next video to show off how different combos work and everything. It's like you'll see if you time it right, it'll say combo and stuff. So you chain, chain, overkill. There's other combos you can do. There's elemental chain, there's spot chain. I'm trying to remember what else there is. Sorry that I'm not doing it right because I'm looking through my phone. So like I'm seeing a smaller screen, so it's hard for me to do it fast enough. I apologize. I really wish there's a better way to do this. I'm sorry. And again, more, uh, more enemies as you go on require more strategy instead of just hitting them till they die. Like another mistake I actually made with this was I'd rather have put. Um, white mage on my team to heal, but it's not that big of a deal because it's the beginning. It's not going to kill you that easily. I'm going to let you read it. To give a little explanation, the Shattered Crystal in the beginning of the tutorial, there was a knight who destroyed the crystal of the well. They destroyed an earth crystal. One of the big crystals of the Final Fantasy right there. Yeah, every time you clear a stage, like a full dungeon, you get a hundred lapis. Every time you level up, your rank, you get a hundred lapis. So see, I got rank close to four and a hundred lapis. This is all stuff for awakenings. When I have enough, I'll get into awakenings. Because right now, I don't have enough on my tablet. These are mini quests you have to do where you get bonuses for doing them. See, if you click three story quests, you get five energy, 30 XP. The energy rolls over though immediately. So like, let me go to show you. How to 47, even though my max is 14, if I keep getting energy, it'll keep building up and adding to it. There's no, I don't think there's an energy cap. I'm not sure. If there is, I did not reach the energy cap yet. So that was the first part in one of the first dungeons of Final Fantasy Brave Exvius. Next time, we're gonna tackle the story segment in the town of Mitra, then the dungeon right after. So I hope you enjoy, comment, rate, and subscribe for more content. I'll be doing a full playthrough and keep playing this game for a while because I really, really like Brave Exvius. This is one of, I think, my favorite game I play on my iOS or my phone or anything. It actually is a really good RPG to me. I like the story where I'm at right now on the phone. is a lot farther ahead than on the tablet. And I really like the story. And I like the music, the characters. It's really fun. So I'll continue playing this in the channel. Hope you like, comment, and subscribe. And I apologize again for the quality. Hope you enjoy the content. Gamers Paradise, signing out.